This is Patrick Waddell with Home Inspection Carolina. Just out inspecting a geodesic dome home today. Uh, you don't see a lot of these, so we just wanted to make a little video for people to check them out that hadn't seen them. Um, these things are phenomenal on energy ratings and uh, holding up against the weather. Um, you'll see several of them at beaches and things like that. They're really, really highly rated for uh, winds. If I'm not mistaken, it's depending on what style you have, um, what type of crawl you have, this home is uh, rated up to 150 miles an hour but it's basically the top half of a golf ball um, what there are so you can tell from looking at it there are separate little triangles and all these triangles are uh, built by engineers now they're engineered to fit together um, they're all labeled uh, when you order them which one connects where and to which other piece um, so they're fairly simple for even someone who's not a home builder to build them. It's kind of like putting a model together. Um, you just have someone come out and build your foundation and you can pretty much do all the other work from there except for the interior. Um, the interior we'll get into in a minute. Uh, originally when you buy them, it's just a completely round uh, circle inside once you build it. And then you can pretty much change the layout and put the lay, uh, walls and things wherever you would like to put them at. Um, the people have added a sunroom onto the back of this one. <clears throat> but roughly they, they vary in size. This one here is around 1,500 square. You know, and that'll change depending on how many floors and walls you put up on the interior. <clears throat> but we'll go inside real quick. Oh, one more thing outside. Um, the problem that you have on these homes that you need to look out for is the corners of all your triangles when they meet. Um, there are several different types of siding that you can put over top of this dome because um, these pieces when you order the triangles are made out of plastic, concrete, or wood. Wood being the most popular. And then you can, this one here is just a a standard roofing shingle asphalt shingle over top and a lot of people will put on a cedar shake the asphalt shingles tend to hold up a lot better than the, the cedar shake but then you walk inside it's kind of like a normal home you just have a bunch of triangles on the wall This house here, it's average utility bill of a 1,500 square foot home. I think they said was around $60 a month. Um, the saving, energy savings on these homes, they say, are somewhere around the 30% less than a normal home because there's no squares. Everything's open, and it causes a natural airflow when you're running your air conditioner to travel up, around, and back down uh, throughout the home. The problems that you have, once again, are at the corners. Uh, these are where you'll accumulate leaks. Um, this one did have a leak at one point which is inactive now um, but the the corners of the triangles where you have to to watch and look out. The only other downfalls that you have on a geodesic home are everything inside is triangles. So when you buy normal furniture and you put a square item in your living room you've suddenly created an odd triangle in an opposite corner so you can end up with a good amount of wasted space show you kind of an example of here's your washer and your dryer but once it's in there you're stuck with this funky corner so unless you have something custom built uh, you end up with a funky corner that you can't use but I'll walk around the rest but it's just like a normal home three bedrooms two bathrooms <clears throat> the other problem that you have that people commonly talk about is you you don't have a lot of privacy in order for a geodesic home to function the way that it should the airflow needs to travel around so most of your bedrooms are half walls so pretty much any sounds you make in the house is multiplied acoustically because of the dome. So talking, listening to TV, opening and shutting doors is just a lot louder than what it would be in a normal home. 
and whatever you're watching in this bedroom, everybody in the house can hear. <laughs> you could run your walls all the way up if you wanted to. Like I said, you can pretty much lay out your interior any way that you'd like. <clears throat> but they're pretty neat. You've got these uh, big plastic windows uh, that you can install for sunlight. You know, you got a large amount of light in this room right now, and there's absolutely no lights on in the house. Um, the only other downfall that you tend to have with a, a geodesic home is nowadays to build one <clears throat> to have proper fire escape routes in bedrooms are hard to have. Um, I'll stay in here because that one back bedroom is the only dark room in the house. Um, this window here is fit right into the triangle. If you can tell, this is your triangle here. And due to the limits of that triangle, you can't get a 36 inch wide window in there. Um, so a fireman cannot climb through the window with his pack on, which wouldn't meet you know, fire codes by today's standards. They do make windows that fit in these now um, that you can purchase, but they run almost three to four times the amount of a normal window. So uh, in order to meet codes where you were saving a lot of money building this type of home, you end up running it up buying your windows. But you can run into some problems with electrical, you know, just know where to chase walls and things that you would in a normal square house, but just nice, different. Um, don't see a lot of them. Just wanted y'all to be able to take a look and maybe learn something. Uh, if you're getting ready to have a home inspection or you need to have one done, please feel free to give us a call. Home Inspection Carolina, 704-542-6575, 704-542-6575. Thank you.